Hello friends, welcome back to our channel, Gashu Speaks. Today, I'm going to teach you all grade 6, chapter in the earlier cities. So, once again, let me introduce myself. I'm Yashashwini Allah and I'll be in my, our YouTube channel. I will be posting videos according to the lessons and many more. Please subscribe my channel, like it, share it so that your friends can also learn according to it. So now let's focus on the video or the session, okay? So this is, the chapter is in the earlier cities. So we need to see the main thing, like we have earlier cities. What is the earlier cities? We have a city called as Harappa and Mogenjadaro. So let's see about the two cities in this video. So first I have an index like thing. First of all, uh, each and every city has a story to tell, right? Uh, we are going to see the story of Harappa, okay? What was special about the Harappan cities? Uh, mainly you need to focus on Harappa and Harappan. You will get the difference after we, uh, after we study, okay? So, we have many cities, right? When we take Tamil Nadu, let's take... Uh, Chennai, okay, when we take Kerala, we can take Thiruvananthapuram, Ladakh, and North, okay. We have Bhopal, Mumbai, we have many cities, right. Uh, not now, in the past also they were there, right. And why are we learning it? So, what does this Harappan city has specially? Why it is specific? Is there any important thing in it? What was special about the Harappan cities? Okay, all the questions are being framed into one paragraph and kept for us. Next is houses. So we know that it's we will be learning uh, what is the special. Then houses, dreams, and streets. Okay, uh, how the houses were there, how the drains were there, how the streets were there. So once we finished houses, drains, and streets. These all come under life in the city. So, we will be discussing life in the city. Okay. So, next. Okay. So, the next we have new crafts in the city. So, we see the life in the city. This new craft also come. The coming. Okay. All the things like in search of raw materials, food for the people in the cities. These four. Okay. What four? Houses, drains and streets. New crafts in the city. In search of raw materials, food for people in cities come under life in the city. Okay. Uh, eight, we have a closer look. Okay. Harappan towns. Okay. In Gujarat. And at last, we are going to see the mystery. Okay. That I'll be telling you. So, first, let's see an introduction. As I told you, very often old buildings have a story to tell. Even the Harappa story, uh, Harappa has a story. So let me teach you all about the city. Let's zoom in. So what is the topic about? Today our topic is about Harappan civilization. So before I start teaching you, uh, let me tell you one key point to gain your marks. I will be highlighting. Okay, so now let me highlight Harappa. Okay, so you can see the highlighted. You need to mainly focus on the highlighted parts. If you uh, like fill in the blanks and all, it will come with these. Okay, the Harappa civilization. Okay, so the wait, let's me erase. Okay. The Harappan civilization has its earliest roots in cultures such as that of Megara, appropriately 6000 BC. 6000 BC. The two greatest cities, Mohenjadaro and Harappa. Okay. They emerged, okay, 2600 BC. Along the Indus Valley, 
in Punjab and Sindh. Here Punjab is not the current day Punjab in India. The Punjab is in Pakistan. If you just have a look at your textbook, you will know. Okay. So as a result, Ganga's Valley settlements gained and Ganga's cities developed. So these are the main words which are highlighted here. So Ganga's Valley settlement gained. Okay. So these are the main things you need to learn here. So we can you can have a look for a while. Now let's move. So as I told you, now let's see the story of Harappa. Introduction was not there in the index, but it is needed for us. Okay. The story of Harappa. Harappa was one of the oldest cities in the subcontinent. Which archaeologists, you know what are archaeologists? Archaeologists are people, okay, who excave. Excave means dig in the ground and find pots, okay, find pots, pans, ornaments and many more. With that only they find about our past. You, you may have also hear the word historians. Historians are people. They, what they people do is they do their, uh, they do their uh, finding with the help of the documents like the Rig Veda, the Vedas, okay. You have, you will be studying in the world as books and burials tell us. In that lesson we have about that, okay. What they do is they inscription, mans manuscript, okay. I think you have studied in the first hour, the second chapter. There you will see inscriptions okay uh, inscriptions and manuscriptions is they will just dig uh, i mean they will just write it on a stone okay with the help of that only they will find archaeologists found this 80, 80 years ago this was the first city to be discovered all other cities were building similar to harappa were found Okay, were described as Harappan. So in the first, when we are studying the index, I told you that, what I told you, we are going to find, okay, you will be able to find the difference between Harappa and Harappan. Harappa is one of the city. Okay, so we're buildings, okay, all the other cities where buildings were similar to Harappa were found, were described as Harappan. Okay, ha, uh, the, it says like if one, uh, if one building is similar to the another, uh, another building in Harappa, the another city, okay, this one. This is Harappa and this is another city. This is similar to Harappa. It is called as Harappan. That's all. Very easy. Okay. All other cities where building similar to Harappa were found were described as Harappan. Okay. So in this, let's see what are the high, uh, highlighted words. Oldest cities in the subcontinent is Harappa. Archaeologist found 80 years ago. It was the first city to be discovered. All the other cities similar to Harappa were described as Harappan. That's all. Okay. Please remember all these and you will be able to easily gain your marks. If, so, if someone asks, tell me the story of Harappa. You can tell Harappa. You, what you can tell is it is one of the okay it is one of the oldest city in the subcontinent archaeologist found 80 years ago it is the first city to be discovered all the other cities were building similar to harappa were described as harappan harappan means building similar to harappa is known as Harappan, okay. So, this is the matter in this slide. 
So we'll go to the next slide. So I have told you, right? We have many cities. Like we have many cities. Okay, let's take a uh, Hyderabad. Okay, it will be easy for us. That's why I'm taking Hyderabad. When you see, what is special about Hyderabad? A large variety of film. Film industry is there, right? Ramoji film industry. Almost all the films in the on uh, uh, Telugu will be shot at there, right? So that's famous. Next, food. Food is famous there. It's special, right? We have many to say. When we take, okay, we have Charminar, Hussein Sagar. We have many Golconda. There are many, okay? It's famous for many things. There are many monuments there, right? In the same way, we need to also know what is special about Harappan city. If you just look at this sentence carefully, it's Harappan. It's not Harappa. Harappa means what is Harappa? All the uh, cities where buildings are similar to Harappa are known as Harappa, right? So I'm not only talking here about Harappa. I'm talking about all the buildings which are similar to Harappa. That city is known as Harappa, right? I'm talking about that. So they are divided into two. They are divided into two or more parts. Now tell me, friends. Normally, when you think when it's two, okay, girls are of two types. Means one will be the boy, another will be the girl, right? One will be the boy, another will be the girl. In the same way, two means it. Uh, when we come to these, right? One can be west, another can be east. One can be south, another can be west, east. Uh, sorry, north. Okay. So whenever there is two in this chapter, we are only discussing about two parts. There are more. I I I accept. But in this chapter, we are going to discuss about two. Okay. So two means one will be in the west, another is in the east. Okay. One which was smaller, but it is higher. Okay, another is larger, but it's lower. Okay, now just remember some words. Okay, here for the second one, it's easy. Lower town. The path to the west was larger but lower. Was called as when we lower here we have lower ah, so lower town. Okay, we can easily remember. Citadel. Okay, uh, so how you can remember is. Citadel, you need to memorize it. Okay, that's all. There is no other way. But the explanation we can remember. So first, always remember the lower town. Remember the lower town very carefully. Okay, citadel means the opposite of it. Same opposite. Okay, the part, the part into, okay, the part to the west. Which was smaller but higher was called as citadel. Here west will here east will be okay. Let me take a uh, okay. So here east will be changed into west, right? East is being changed into west. Okay, so here smaller is changed into larger. Okay. Here, lower is being changed into higher. Just remember these opposite. Okay, you need to just make an opposite. Okay, that's what. That's all we have in this slide. So, uh, citadel and lower town are two main parts. Okay, in this Harappan city, these cities are divided into two. One is citadel, another one is lower town. Now, we know the two types. I told you the two types because a few for future when we are now I am going to tell you it will be useful for us. We need to know them. Then only I can move to the next. Okay. Uh, so here is something. Let's look at that. The wall of baked bricks. The wall of baked bricks. I'm sorry. Okay. There were walls of baked bricks. Okay. Were built around each part. 
The bricks were so well baked that they have lasted thousands of years. The bricks were laid in an interlocking pattern and that made the wall strong. So it isn't so much difficult. This small paragraph is not difficult. They are only saying us about the bricks. They are only saying us about the bricks. What they are saying? They are saying that the walls they were ba uh, they were made of baked bricks were built around each part. If this is a part, okay. If this is a, okay, so let me take that this is a part. Okay, this is a part. The baked bricks were built around like this. They were made brick. So let's take the sharpener as a brick from here like this, like this. Like this, like this, like this. They were built around each part. Okay. So, the next is, they were so well baked that they lasted for thousands of years. Now, I shouldn't say like, now in this current situation, I mean in 2020, we have bricks which are very good. But according to the bricks, are they baked well only? They are lasting for some years. Hundred of years. We cannot say thousands of years. Some are lasting. Some are being. Okay. But some hundred itself. So miracle right? Yeah. So the bricks were laid in an interlocking pattern. We all know about the interlocking pattern. So um, another thing is. The bricks were made into an interlocking pattern and that made the walls strong. Even though the bricks are baked very well, that's also important. And the pattern they took is an interlocking pattern. So this is what here. So baked bricks built around each part. So well baked, lasted for thousands of years. Laid in an interlocking pattern. Um, because. Okay sorry. That made the wall strong. Okay. I hope you understand. Okay. So this is also one of the special thing. Okay. This is also one of the special thing about the city. Okay. So now let's take. Uh, now let's see. In some cities. Okay. In some cities. Special buildings were constructed in citadel. Like in some places we get about the citadel. Like we get right citadel and lower town. That's why I introduce you citadel and lower town. What is citadel? It is in the west. Smaller but higher. Right? For example... An example of citadel is Mohenjo-daro. Okay. There was a special, very special tank. Which archaeologists have told you about archaeologists, right? Called the Great Bath. Before we move into the Great Bath, let me tell you that a very special tank. It's not like the tank we have up in our house. It is stacked in the sense like a big place. Okay. It will be this much. Not only this much. I'm just telling you. It will be in your textbook if you see a picture of that. Okay. It's like a, a little bit big. And it has something like um, there were steps in the both sides. Okay. There were steps. One, two, three. Like that there were steps. And this side there were no steps. Okay. And so what happened is they poured, they took water from the well and they poured here. So the archaeologists called it as the great bath. Why is it is? Uh, some, the people here took bath, dip in the water in occasion. Some people, mainly it could be a Brahmin who takes that. Okay. Maybe it could be a Brahmin or cast based that days they were maybe okay so if you are in the south 
I don't know whether they will be uh, they are there but uh, Mohenjo Daro in the okay it is there okay Mohenjo Daro it is there it was there I don't know till we have or not okay was built in this area Mohenjo Daro some cities like Mohenjo Daro Harappa okay Harappa and Lothal Lothal has elaborated storehouse storehouses okay so you could see the word lothal right okay so here uh, mahanjadaro is uh, one thing okay next we have lothal lothal is like uh, gujarat lothal means gujarat okay had a low bridge storehouses they had big 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 storehouses okay so this is all about this page this tells that now we all are talking the topic under let me remind you once because we forget right and we all are uh, talking and we all are discussing about the topic under we are discussing the topic under uh, what is special about these cities okay these harappan cities okay the mohenjadaro is also in harappan city okay harappa is also a city harappa is also a harappan city okay lothal gujarat is also a harappan city okay so in this let's again see i have told you this paragraph the main main points here i have underlined with red you can see that right okay so here uh, uh, first we have in some cities buildings okay were built in citadel like mohenjadaro in mohenjadaro very special tank which archaeologists call it as great bath was built in mohenjadaro some cities like mohenjadaro harappa lothal had big storehouses so that was all about this okay we in this page we discussed about the bricks then about the great bath uh, about the storehouses which were built in mohenjadaro harappa and dotal okay next now we are going to discuss about the houses and drains okay so houses and drains now our uh, topic is about houses and drains most houses has separate bathing area and some have wells to supply water okay uh, here what they are saying is in this one sentence they are saying that their uh, most houses okay many people had their separate bathing area and some had uh, also wells to supply water many cities had covered drains okay they had made a covered drains okay if this is a drain okay let's see let's take that this is a drain and water is here it's not open it's not open it has been closed and there were holes okay holes they just took them out they could clean right then only they could clean okay and uh, drains and houses were connected to the streets and smaller drains okay so and another thing is here i think i missed out yeah each drain had a gentle slope uh, it had something like this not only no it wouldn't be this much big but this much okay like this it was okay the water could easily flow when it's like this no we can't okay so that's what each drain had a gentle slope okay drains in houses were connected to streets and smaller drains which ultimately led into bigger ones all three it is houses drains and streets were planned i think you can see that it's so small i'm sorry were planned and built at the same time okay so see that houses drains and streets okay they both are planned and built at the same time okay uh, so the main things in this thing is bathing area wells to supply water gentle slope 
okay um houses connected to streets and smaller drains were ultimately led into bigger ones houses drains and streets were uh, planned and built at the same time right so let's erase everything so we have cleared okay we have finished uh, houses and drains so now it's time to see the life in the city we are going to see life in the city now uh, harappan city was a very busy city okay it's so busy so busy right it's very busy okay uh, rulers were the people who planned and construction planned the construction of special buildings in the city so they were people in the textbook how it is given it has like the people who planned and constructed or no may, they were mainly rulers okay rulers sent people to long distance okay rulers sent people to long distance okay why they sent is they sent them to get metals precious stones and other things they wanted and like gold ornaments okay gold ornaments and silver or any other precious beautiful stones okay they took for themselves okay they took for themselves scribes were people now we are going to discuss about some people called as scribes okay uh, they were people who knew how to write and help in preparing the seals and perhaps write on, they wrote on other materials okay they wrote on many materials but they did not survive they have not survived okay um so here the main thing is um, get metals precious stones and other things they wanted okay these are the main highlighted things rulers plan construction of special buildings rulers sent people to people to distant lands to get precious stones and other things they wanted scribes people knew how to write and help in preparing the seals and perhaps they wrote on many other materials that have not survived okay so these are the main things this okay so uh, always remember that uh, if the question raises harappa was a dash place or city you need to write it as busy city okay not lazy city okay okay so we we uh, i mean sorry we saw 1 and 2 now let's see Three and four, and I think we don't have next. Okay, come on. So there were men and women, craft persons who used to make all kinds of things. Like now in this 2020 or before, okay, in this 2000 century, we see like uh, people are women and women. If some people do in their homes. some people go to workshops or special place and they do right so that is all about the third point terracotta toys terracotta toys i hope you all have heard about the word terracotta has been found in the harappan cities which shows the children must have played with these so toys means definitely children will play right ha huh? children will definitely play with toys that's our nature i mean children's nature okay and here men and women craft person made all kinds of things terracotta toys ha found harappa harappan cities children must have been played with these okay so new crafts in the city wow 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 now i am so interested in craft okay so now let's see about the Harappan craft, Harappan people craft. I mean, so excited. Come on, let's see what the next slide has. Oh, it has some points. Come on, let's see. Uh, so come on. First, we have most of the objects that were made 
found in Harappan cities were of stone, shell, metal, including copper, brazon, gold, and silver. So here you may think uh, like the may objects that have been found. If you concentrate on the last two words, okay, let's uh, not have silver. Silver, we find that. Okay, now let's mainly focus on gold. So gold, okay, uh, like we feel gold. Oh, are the objects made of gold? We see, right, gold and silver are made even for vessels. Okay, I'll tell you about that after we discuss this page. Okay, I have something to tell. Okay, copper and brazon were used to make tools. Weapons. Okay, so we were discussing that copper and brazon were used to make tools, weapons, ornaments, and vessels. Okay, copper, it's normal, right? We have uh, even vessels in these days. We use like glass. Okay, gold and silver. At this point, okay. After this point, let me explain you something. Okay, gold and silver. One second, gold and silver, right? Gold and silver were used to make ornaments and vessels. Okay, now just tell me that here, which do you find? So, is it ornaments or vessels? When you heard the word, what did you feel? When you studied this, when I say the sentence, what did you all feel? Ornaments. Oh. Now, wood is to make, okay, sorry, ornaments and vessels. Ornaments, normal, I understand. But vessels, okay, nowadays to buy ornaments itself, we all are it's so at peak of cost, right? You know why? In those days, even the, okay, once again, in those days, even the comb, the comb which we use, which is plastic, which was also in gold. See that. Hmm? But now, to buy that one comb in gold, just think of. Okay? We don't need to go there. We'll be here. We'll focus on the lesson. The uh, Why it is like this means the gold has decreased in our country. And gold has increased in other countries. Okay, that's why it's costly. Okay, okay, now come on, let's focus here. The Harappan made seals out of stones which were rectangular in shape and have an animal carved on them. In your textbook, it's there, uh, it's 27 or 28. I'm not sure, you can just check it off. It's so good, okay, it's very wonderful. Hmm. So, here they said about the Copper and brazon were used to make tools, weapons, ornaments, and vessels, even gold and silver. Okay. Silver, I understand. We even today we do, but gold in some people only they have, right? The Harappa has also made beautiful, okay, beautiful pots with the black designs. Actual pieces of cloth were found attached to the lid of silver keys and some copper objects at Mohenjadaro. Archaeologists have also found spindle walls made of terracotta and fiasinth which were used to spin thread. Many of the things that were produced at Harappa were probably the work of specialists. So even there is a picture in your textbook like there is a man showing his beard okay it's up to here so good wonderful it must be have been made by the specialist okay and uh, so here we can be in the first we saw about the pots black designs in the second we were thinking about the i mean we were discussing about the cloth next uh, we were discussing about terracotta and uh, fashion okay next we were discussing about the uh, things, many of the things that were produced at the Harappa were probably the work of specialists, okay? In search of raw materials, you all know what is raw materials? Substance.
chances that are either found naturally or produced by farmers or herders is called as raw material. Uh, so you can just think like found naturally, no need of when someone asks, okay, I'm very, very sorry for this. Okay. When someone asks you, what are raw materials? You can say that materials which are found naturally. That's all. Okay. Found naturally. Okay. Substances found naturally. Raw materials are the process to produce finished goods. Like, hmm, let's take cotton. Cotton was first take from the farmers. Next is being produced to it, it being sent to someone and there that person starts weaving it and it will be sent to the market. It will be now it's a finished product. Okay. Are the pros. Okay. Next the raw materials that the Harappan used were available locally. Whereas many items such as copper, tin, gold, silver and precious stones were brought from different. Uh, distant places uh, like raw materials were found locally but uh, copper tin gold silver and precious stones uh, were bought from far places okay so next is the harappa probably got uh, harappa got probably from present day Rajasthan from Oman in the west of Asia. Oman is a place in the west of Asia. Okay. Tin was which was mixed with copper to produce brosome has been brought from the present day Afghanistan and Iran. Gold has been brought from the present day Karnataka and precious stone from the present day Gujarat. In the older days what is it? Lothal. Iran and Afghanistan. Okay. So just remember Rajasthan Oman is for copper. Brozone is from Afghanistan and Iran. Tin, okay, which was being mixed with copper to produce tin and copper. When both are mi mixed, we get another substance called as brozone. Is it a chemical change? Yes. It's not a physical change. I think you have studied in uh, changes around this chapter 6. Science, okay. Uh, gold from Karnataka and precious stone from the present day Gujarat, Iran and Afghanistan. Okay, just Rajasthan, Oman, Afghanistan and Iran, Karnataka, Gujarat, Iran and Afghanistan. Maximumly if you see, mostly um, we have Iran and Afghanistan. Okay, food for the people in the cities. People live here, but where does the food come from? Let's see that. People living in the countryside, uh, they grew crops and reared animals. The Harappans grew wheat, barley, pulses, peas, rice, sesam, okay, and mustard. Okay, so the people there, what all they grew, they have given barley, pulses, peas, rice, sesam, okay. That was all given here. Mm, so the people not living in the city, that's called as countryside they were mainly farmers okay the plow was used to dig the earth from turning the soil and planting the seeds water was stored and supplied to the fleets when the plants were growing harappans reared cattle harappans are people okay so harappans the people living in harappan were uh, reared cattle sheep goat and buffalo in the dry summer months, large uh, herds of animals were probably taken to great distance in search of uh, grass and water. People also collected fruits like bear, caught fish. Oh, sorry. It's like uh, people also collected fruits like berry. Okay, I'm sorry for the mistake. Uh, caught fish and hunted wild animals like antelope okay okay so now a closer look harappa towns in gujarat i hope we have come to the end of the video but not with this you are not going to end the video we have another one a mystery at the end what happened at the last now tell me okay after this we'll discuss about that okay the city of dolwari was located on khadir bet in the 
Ran of Kuch. I'll tell you one thing. In these days, the names are very easy. Mumbai, Kolkata, Rajasthan, very easy. But when you think of these old words, so difficult, right? Hmm, we need to study them very carefully. The city has fresh water and fertile soil. Dolvaria was divided into three paths and each path was surrounded with massive stone walls with entrance through gateways. Gateway means don't think gateway of India. Okay. There were also large open area and settlement where public ceremonies were held. Large letters of Harappan scripts were carved out of white stone and inlaid in wood. Okay. Inlaid in wood. Okay. So, this is all about the, it. Was this uh, telling about Gujarat. It's talking about Gujarat. It's saying that, uh, it's saying about a city, Dolwar, okay, was located on Kari, Kadir Bet in Ran of Kuch, okay. It has fresh water and fertile soil. It was divided into three parts. Each part was sur uh, surrounded with uh, massive stone walls with entrance through gateways. Uh, there were also large open areas and settlements pub where public ceremonies were held. Large letters of Harappan script were carved out of white stone and inlaid in wood. Okay. This is the main thing. And I think we have two more slides. Okay. When we leave this one. I think it took me a long time. In the city of Lothal stood beside a tributary of the Samba, Sa, uh, sorry, Samba Mati in Gujarat, close to Gulf, okay, of Kambat, Kambat. The raw materials such as semi precious stones were easily available in the cities. They were, uh, they was also a storehouse in the city, workshops for making beads, pieces of stones, half beads, tools for making uh, and the finished beads have also found been found here, right? And now I think we have two more slides. Okay friends, now uh, why did all this happen? Why did all this happen? I have not introduced you. What happened between? So what happened is uh, people here did not live. They went into other cities. They did Harappan was not at all there. And what happened is because some people suggested that uh, the rivers dried up. Others people, some people suggested that deforestation become okay. There were a lot of deforestation, cutting of uh, plants that was there. And uh, in some areas, there were floods, okay. But uh, none of the uh, reasons can explain the end of all the cities, okay. Uh, I, we think, okay, and many people think that the rulers have lost their control. Sites in Singh and west of Punjab, present day Kashmir, Raban, then, while many people moved into newer, smaller to settlements in the east and the south. So what happened is when each and everything was found, the people did not be there. Even the drain system, okay, the drain system going like this. Okay, what happened is the mud became like nowadays what we have. Hmm? Nowadays how it is that it is like that only. From that time, no more Harappa, Harappan cities. Everything is closed. The mystery has got to end. It's finished. Okay, friends, the video has come to the end. And it's time to say a bye bye to everyone. Okay. And um, do you have any questions? Be free to post in the comment box and do not forget to subscribe. And one thing I just wanted to say is today was so wonderful day. It was a wonderful video today, right? We had a superb video. And we escaped a lot. And we all are, we all were archaeologists today. We all escaped the lesson and we found many things today, right? And that was so good for us. Meet you all 
soon. Okay, we'll see you all in the upcoming videos. Subscribe to get your. Uh, you will be getting notifications like you get WhatsApp notifications, right? Okay, bye bye. See you all, and do not forget to subscribe, like, share this video. And at last, I'm saying it once again. If you have any questions, be free to post in the comment box. Bye bye.